Is Xiaomi still spying? This is the question that I want to answer in this video, so let's get started. A little bit more than a year ago I made a video about Xiaomi and spying. It was a German video, a video I made in German and it was talking about the thing that revealed itself or a security researcher revealed that Xiaomi actually was spying on their smartphones and spying like in crazy ways just like in their Mi browser. They were literally sending all the data of every website that you visit to their surface and they were doing this not only for the normal browsing mode but also for the incognito mode so a real big downer and then of course there were also mouse clicks or not mouse clicks taps with the finger that was sent to Xiaomi as well when you were visiting the file browser for example it knew then every folder you visited and every file you clicked or tapped upon which is a bit of spooky. Xiaomi promised to make it better. They released an update where this spying in incognito mode in their web browser was disabled by default, which is a good thing. I tested it, it worked. And actually, when I did the video, I was talking about that I will never do any Xiaomi reviews anymore. Then I got this Redmi Note 10 Pro sent to me. I was doing a review, but always had in my back head, I will check if they're still spying, but probably I never really did a video about it I was talking about it I think in one of the one of my podcasts my audio podcast in German because the previous one was in German so but this time I want to talk a little bit more in detail here in this English speaking channel and what I want to talk about is if they are still spying on the Redmi Note 10 Pro that I'm having here and I'm testing right now so what I did is do a bit of traffic analysis what is traffic analysis you ask it's basically you are interfering with the packets sent from your phone to the world wide web or to the internet it's not only the world wide web but also the internet so what i do is just set up a system that acts as a router basically and is intercepting all communication and saving this communication that goes through it onto a file that can be analyzed via wireshark and this option allows me to yeah, spy on the traffic that the Redmi Note 10 Pro has. So a man in the middle attack you could say. I have a router where I will collect all the traffic that comes through, save it to a file and of course the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro thinks that it is connected to the internet. So this is basically how it works and how you can create such things. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one very interesting way of analyzing traffic and how to analyze stuff. Nowadays, however, most of the traffic that also Xiaomi phones produce are encrypted traffic. So that means I cannot read everything that is in those packets. But what I can see definitely is whom Xiaomi is sending stuff. So which server they are contacting and sending stuff to, which is very important because then you can know is it a server in Germany, in Europe, in China or some other country? Which might give us some clue what data they are collecting. What did the analysis of this file show me? So a few things. First of all, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a cheap device. So it is really contacting advertisement servers a lot. But I can tell you it's only one advertisement server they are connect, uh, connecting to and this is the Xiaomi own internet uh, advertisement service, international advertisement service actually because it has an api.entl.xiaomi ad dot something in the address itself. So it is connecting to this advertisements because the Redmi Note 10 Pro is showing advertisements even on my global German model that I have here it is showing me advertisements advertisements in the file manager for example so I get localized advertisements so this is one thing that points towards which data is transported or which data is requested to the advertisement server so for the advertisement server to know that um, there is a shop called Otto in Germany, for example, to show the ad from the Otto um, shop. 
it has to know my localization or my country. So what the advertisement server definitely gets in terms of data is the country that I reside in. I don't think that they are sending the specific location because this is only possible via location services that you enable in the Android setting for this app otherwise the, or for the advertisement application to get this but this doesn't have this enabled on my device at least so it is not getting the specific location but it will get the country code probably the region settings of your phone they will choose which advertisements to send to you then probably they will also send the device so what I can see is definitely they're sending a device code so a request where your device the Redmi Note 10 Pro can be identified not your device that you are holding in your hand specifically but the device that you have so a Redmi Note 10 Pro the resolution and probably uh, also the software version that you have running that is basically everything that they will send out because the packet is very very small and probably they can fit a little bit more like the screen resolution or something like this this can be used because it's an advertisement server for yeah taking a fingerprint of your device so to identify you later on we are browsing on different websites for example this could work eventually but i'm not so so sure if this really is the case i cannot prove or disprove that xiaomi is anim i don't know anonymizing this data somehow uh, because the data is encrypted so I cannot really look too deep into it but this is what I can tell you about the advertisement server the good thing about this advertisement server thing is that you can turn it off it's a bit of cumbersome because you have to go into several different settings uh, to do this and it is a little bit yeah off a trick that you have to pull off so first of all there's a privacy setting where you can turn off uh, advertisements but this is not turning off all the advertisements because some applications have also ads you can go into your apps and then disable the advertisements there or special services there as well which will then not contact the service but the applications itself like the file manager uh, like the uh, video player the music player and uh, yeah, the browser itself they have special options the optimizer app they have special options where you have to disable the ads uh, manually and this is possible and after you disable the apps uh, the ads there they, they won't contact the api for the ad server anymore which is i think a good thing so at least you can disable it so this is working fine but by default on the redmi note 10 pro it is yeah accessing those advertisement servers and accessing those uh, ad servers and sending data out to them what about other servers it is contacting so if you have a me account it's definitely contacting the me account as well i don't have a me account so i don't have any contact the only thing if i go into an application uh, it is checking if i have a me account or if i go into the me account itself it is contacting the me account server otherwise it is not contacting the me account server at all it's starting to rain, uh, rain right now <laughs> this is why i'm hiding here a bit uh, anyway so this is about the me account so if you're me account then don't then you are basically giving xiaomi your data uh, literally sometimes also because it has a cloud service where you're uploading data and I think it's by default setting up so that photos and uh, uh, video files may be uh, uploaded everything that's in your gallery will be uploaded to the uh, cloud service otherwise what can I tell, tell you about uh, what is contacting there as well there's a DNS server so if you're using the uh, Xiaomi browser the Mi browser then it will definitely contact the DNS server from Xiaomi that would mean that Xiaomi in theory has the possibility to just simply um, yeah, monitor your, your website that you're visiting or at least the URLs that you're uh, entering in the web browser URL bar this is something that uh, might be a little bit concerning but the thing is that you can disable this also by using a global DNS uh, change in the settings so you can set a private DNS in your Xiaomi uh, MIUI settings and this will then be used instead of the Xiaomi own one also what I noticed that this DNS particular DNS server from Xiaomi is only used in the Mi browser so if I'm using the Chrome web browser it is not used there and by default on the Redmi Note 10 Pro uh, the Chrome browser is installed and I think it is also set to a default browser so this is a good insane setting so you don't have the issue in general I would like uh, go away from the from the Mi browser i know if you swipe up by default 
on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Mi browser will open up and will load several th settings there. But I don't trust the Mi browser at all because there's so many settings, so many services, so many things there that I'm not very comfortable using it. So I will recommend you not using it. You cannot remove it per se from the UI directly. You have to use bdbug stuff and then remove it. But if you're not using it, it will not contact any Xiaomi server and any T market servers that Xiaomi is using for this web browser. So what is my conclusion? about the whole situation with Xiaomi and their spy. Is Xiaomi still spying? I wouldn't say they are spying per se, not in this matter that they were before. They have some default settings which I don't like, like the advertisements. I know that probably this is a Redmi Note 10 Pro specific issue because it's one very cheap device with good hardware. And of course they want to earn money with it. So they activated ads by default. I can imagine that on um, more expensive devices like the Xiaomi Mi 11 or the new Xiaomi 11 T series of devices that ads are disabled by default, which I hope they are. Otherwise, if they are enabled by default, there are possibilities to disable it. So per se, it's not a bad, it's a bad habit, I would say, but it is not like a security hole or something that would keep me from not using Xiaomi devices because it is possible to disable those advertisements and contacting of the ad servers and then not to send data to Xiaomi. The same goes for the DNS. You can set it up yourself. Um, it is not particular hidden. You can also set up a VPN. Then this doesn't make any sense at all to have uh, the Xiaomi DNS it will not be contacted or if it's contacted, it doesn't know what's going on. So such things are possible. So in general, my extreme measurement not reviewing any Xiaomi devices is gone because the main reason like the, the yeah, by default spying on people is gone now. They are doing some nasty things like advertisements which I really don't like but uh, this is like a personal preference and you can turn it off so it is not a security concern in this regards where I me reviewing a Xiaomi device for someone who's interested eventually in buying Xiaomi under the presumption that he knows that there might maybe ads and he has to disable them if uh, he doesn't want if you want to have like absolutely uh, no spying at all then uh, don't buy a, sp a smartphone at all but uh, otherwise uh, you can disable ads and stop at least a little bit of this sniffing around. I would say it's not spying per se, but because your data is not sent over to them. It's just like a bit of sniffing uh, what you're clicking on, maybe which ads you like and which country you are. And uh, yeah, this is basically my conclusion. So is Xiaomi still spying? No, they are not spying per se. They have some nasty things like advertisements on there. Uh, phones which I don't like, um, probably not all phones, uh, but this is my conclusion that I can get from the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I want to make it as open-minded and as possible for you to understand as uh, it is possible. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little insight of my analysis of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I know that there were things uh, coming up like I was, I think, talking about the Lithuania thing and uh, that there's a list of stuff. Uh, I did not find anything that is like activating stuff in the background, but this is a general problem of smartphones. If you are a smartphone user, it doesn't matter which smartphone you have, the manufacturers have ways to contact your smartphone and enable maybe features that you don't like or don't know about. And this is a general problem of all smartphones I uh, encountered. Um, with a software update or something like this, they can enable stuff for you. Uh, they can. Uh, send secret SMS. This is like all devices, basically mobile phone devices. Uh, they have this uh, secret and 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 silent SMS they can send to you to to get your location, for example. Police is using this, for example, as well. So um, Xiaomi is not the best when it comes to privacy, but they are, they improved a lot during this year. You have now the possibility to go to a privacy tab in your settings and change stuff around and uh, see all your private data. They have a privacy center, I think, that you can contact as well, which is pretty awesome. And uh, so they improved and I would give it a thumbs up. They improved for the improvement for the current situation with the ads. It's only a thumbs like this, but I will see um, now in the future that I lifted my self-implied uh, ban not reviewing Xiaomi devices. I can maybe review the one or the other device. I will start perhaps with the mid-range devices and see uh, if uh, there's still spying going on, if there's advertisements going on and so on. 
So uh, that is everything for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like such content, you can click the like button, otherwise share and uh, subscribe. Until the next time, bye.